The field school is just a great experience all around. It's a good experience. It gives you hands-on experience for the future. It's a lot of learning all at once, but you learn a lot of broad variety things. You learn stuff that you wouldn't learn in the classroom. I wanted more experience hands-on in the field, and I figured that this would be a good opportunity to do something like that. I was really excited to learn hands-on, different experiences, different skills that I could be using and put towards a job. It's cooking. It's Camping was good. It's not often you get to, to do that as part of your studies. It's definitely a new experience. You're usually just in the classroom with everyone. It was good to meet new people. Never really had the experience of actually going out into the bush and ex like experience the wilderness for itself. So one of the activities that we had to do was seining, and the purpose of that was to look for invasive species in the park. Well, because it's on the data sheet. And what we were doing is invasive species monitoring, and you drag it along the bottom because they're bottom dwellers. And then any of them that you capture, you would note distinguishing features, length, size, that type of thing. It was cool to think that we, I could actually do this in the future. It was really interesting taking the jet pro ride down to Wazo Bay. The time we went, uh, the fog had lifted. We were able to see the, the rugged coastline and, and really get to see a part of the park that a lot of people don't get to see. And we were going there for the purpose of the seining and uh, looking for invasive species. So we also did uh, vegetation plots on the beach. And we were looking for um, different vegetation, see if it was uh, native to the land or came from somewhere else. So that just involved laying out two by 10 meter plots and counting the number of vegetation uh, that we saw on the beach to see if there were any invasive species present. Working in a group setting was great. Uh, we were able to kind of feed off each other uh, Everybody has a different way of learning and also other people have different, uh, different skills that they can bring to the table. So it's a really neat dynamic uh, to work with others. For the Sechi Dis water clarity test, we, uh, we were able to take uh, the boat out into Wazo Bay. The Sechi Dis works, you drop it down and as soon as you can't see it, that's when you measure it. So that'll be the water clarity. And where we were in Wazo Bay, the water was like very clear. Well, one of the activities we did was uh, water quality testing. And we used a device uh, called a YSL meter, which measures uh, dissolved oxygen, pH, temperature, electric conductivity. And that gives you kind of a baseline measurement for the water quality of, of a water body. Uh, in our case, it was a lake, uh, Lake Superior. Today, we came to Confederation College and we're measuring uh, depth to the groundwater level um, in each of the wells that they have already set up here. And then we're gonna flush them out and uh, check for conductivity and some of the chemicals and stuff that are in the water. So we're at uh, 230 centimeters. If somebody asks us in a job interview, do you know how to do such and such a thing? Like today we're doing water sampling. We know how to do that and we know the proper protocol. We know the equipment, we know how to use it. And that is invaluable. We've been gaining a lot of the skills that we will need in our future. So if we do get an interview with an employer, can tell them that we have these skills. It'll make it a lot easier to be confident about getting into things where I'm using equipment that we tried out here and, and be able to say, yes, I, I can figure out how to use this a lot better now than just jumping into it blind. I feel like from field school, it has allowed me to gain experience and have the ability to develop a research proposal. It was a treat to be able to combine all these activities and get a real scope of what's going on in the environment. Now that I've finished the field course, um, I feel a lot more confident about getting started in my research proposal for my thesis that I'll eventually be doing. I feel like the field course does an excellent job in uh, allowing students to go out in the field and discover what they are interested in hands-on 
and what they want to research in their, in their future if they want to pursue either a master's or even a PhD. For me, the benefit of field studies is it gives you at least a glimpse or an approximation of what actual field work is like. Outside is your laboratory. Uh, you can't mimic that in the, in the classroom.